Happy happy hour. I'm Dave, the basement bartender. Bacon. For some, it's the ninth wonder of the world. Bacon has a sweetness, saltiness, umami that just make it perfect. I eat five strips of bacon. And for lunch, I eat a bacon sandwich. And for a midday snack, bacon, a whole bacon. damn plate. Now, what if we could infuse the perfect ingredient with the perfect cocktail? Then we'd have a bacon Manhattan. Do I really need to say more? Let's get this thing started. Basement bartender. I've talked about infusing spirits on this channel before, but it's always been plant-based ingredients. Bacon is very high in fat. All right, son, I'm gonna need those two hams back. I don't have any hams. I need an adult. I need an adult. You're not a shoplifter. You're just a fat kid. If we simply just put bacon in a jar with whiskey, it would be very greasy and cloudy. Just not appealing. So instead, we're gonna use a technique called fat washing. We'll infuse the whiskey with bacon fat. Once the flavor's all been infused, we can remove the fat without removing the flavor. It sounds complicated, but it's easy. An idiot could do it. I mean, I've done it. I'm an idiot. You can ask anybody. I recommend doing this in small batches. Since we're dealing with animal fat, the resulting product can go rancid. A bacon-infused bourbon will last about two weeks on the shelf or six months in the refrigerator. The first step is cook some bacon. The key to bacon fat washing is to select a bacon that will impart a lot of flavor. So a smoked and heavily seasoned bacon is going to be the best choice. And once you're done, the good news is you can eat the bacon. We just need the fat. Although it would be a good idea to set some aside and sprinkle some brown sugar on it. It'll come in handy later. Harvest 32 grams of bacon fat and add that to 200 milliliters of a high proof bourbon. Use a 90 proof spirit or higher. The higher the alcohol by volume, the more the bacon flavor will infuse into the whiskey. Mix well and let that sit at room temperature for five to nine hours. Next, move the alcohol to the freezer for one hour. You can leave it in there longer than that. The alcohol won't freeze, but the bacon fat will, which will make it very easy to remove later. Once the fat is removed, run the whiskey through a coffee filter to remove any remaining bits. We now have 200 milliliters of liquid gold. Beautiful, rich bourbon infused with smoky, salty bacon. Let's make our Manhattan. A Manhattan is typically a combination of whiskey, sweet vermouth, and bitters served neat and up in a martini glass. I'm gonna mix that up just a little bit and serve it with a dry vermouth combined with a maple syrup up and on the raw. Start with two ounces of bacon fat washed bourbon. Add half an ounce of dry vermouth, half an ounce of maple syrup, and a dash of chicory pecan bitters. Stir to chill and dilute. Remember that piece of bacon I had you candy earlier? Ooh, piece of candy. It's going to be a beautiful garnish placed directly in the glass. And with that, we have the maple bacon Manhattan. Cheers. Remember when I said earlier that bacon was the ninth wonder of the world and everyone started writing a comment telling me that there were only seven wonders of the world? This is the eighth wonder. Sweet, smoky, salty, umami. I could give you more descriptors or I could drink more. Thanks for watching. Click more buttons, watch more videos. We'll see you next time. Good Lord, this is good. <laughs>